Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Kelly with Kelly Lee Creates and I teach lettering and digital design tutorials. So today I have a tutorial for you using Silhouette Studio and I'm going to show you how to use the offset feature in Silhouette Studio. You can find the offset feature on the right hand side, this toolbar over here. It's this little star um, with an outline and if you click on that it brings up the offset panel. So this is an example of a font right here that includes an offset. This font is called Varsity Regular. Now if you don't have this font um, loaded onto your computer or in Silhouette Studio I wanted to show you how you can recreate this look right here using offsets. So what I've done is I've typed out the word hello down here and it's in a font called PT Serif Caption. I made sure to get um, a font, you know, that had the serifs. It doesn't have the, it, it's not as thick as Varsity Regular, but this is the closest that I could get. So we are going to use the offset feature to make this um, word down here look similar to this word up here. So what I've done is I've typed out the word hello, but I've typed it out with each letter separately. And that is just because um, if I type it out all in one word and I go to use the offset feature, I get a lot of overlap. Um, so I typed it out separately, so we're not going to have that overlap occur. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do, I'm going to select all of the letters in this word, and I'm just going to fill it with black, so it's going to match um, what's happening up here. So in order um, to create an offset, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this letter here. Let's start with the letter O. Actually, let's just start with the letter H. Um, so click on the letter and then come over to the offset panel, click on that, and hit offset. And when you do that, it gives you um, the default offset distance, 0.125 inches, and the default um, corner is rounded. So you can change that, and I'm going to change it so it's um, an angled corner and not rounded because I want mine to match this as much as possible. And then up here in the distance I'm going to change that because I don't want this offset to be quite this big. So I'm going to change this distance to 0 0.05 and click apply. And when I do that you can see that the offset is now shrunk. But you can still tell there's the red line around the text or the black text is the offset. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for each letter and I'm going to make the offset the same at 0 0.05 and angles for the corners and hit apply. the first offset but you can see in this word here that it, it really has two offsets around it and I'll show you how to do that so now we're just going to click on the offset and we are going to make an offset of the offset but I want to move the text out of the way first so if I just click on the text right here and I'm just going to move it down a little bit like that. And then we can see what we're working with here. So again, I'm going to click on each letter and make another offset. And I'm going to keep it the same distance as the previous one, 0 0.05, and make sure it's angled and hit apply. And I'm going to do that for each letter. Oh, 
Okay, so now we have um, two offsets. We have one here and we have an offset of the offset. Now you might think that we're done, but if you go to try to fill this to look like this, if you come up here to the fill panel and hit black, you can see that it does not fill correctly. It doesn't look like this. And the way we're going to get rid of that is we are going to use one more function and it's called the subtract function. So what the subtract function does, if I select both of these offsets right here, come over here to the modify panel. And I'm going to open the modify panel. And when I open the modify panel, I'm going to come over here and click subtract. Now when you use subtract, it um, subtracts, it takes the frontmost shape and it uses that to cut a hole in the back shape. So we're going to be left with an offset that looks like this. So if I just select both the offsets right here and hit subtract, it doesn't look like anything really happened, but if you come over here to the fill panel and fill it with black, now you can see the difference. Remember when we filled it with black before, the whole thing turned black. So now what we have is we used the smaller offset to cut a hole in the bigger offset. And this is what we are left with. And so if you bring this O right up there, this letter now looks like this one. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do that for the rest of these letters. Again, if you type the word out um, all together, you're just going to have to, you'll just have to do this once. This is just, I just did it this way because um, with the offsets, if the letters were closer together, the offsets would be um, running into each other right here. Okay, so now I have all my offsets subtracted and filled with black, and now I can move all of my letters back up and position them, position them like that. So I hope that gives you a little bit of understanding of um, how the offset tool works and how you can use it to manipulate um, text to get some fun effects. So if you like this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. And if you want more tutorials like this, make sure to visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.